Hello everyone, it's me, Miss Courtney again. I hope you've had a wonderful week and enjoy your 4th of July this week and remember what it's all about. Um, today we're gonna talk a little bit about the book of James and about what trials and hard hardships are and what it, that's like. Um, does anybody know what a trial is? I have this sign here. It says, what are trials? In the book of James in chapter 1, it talks about how Christians will go through trials and it helps us grow stronger and become closer to God. It talks about what trials are, why are trials good for us, and who do trials come from. So if everyone will turn to their Bibles in the book of James, that's in the New Testament, in the back of the Bible, go to the book of James on chapter 1. Um, and if you go down to verse 2, it says this. Let's read it together. It says, Consider it a great joy, my brothers, whenever you experience various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces endurance. But endurance must do its complete work, so that you may be mature and complete, lacking nothing. So trials are something that God gives us to help us grow closer to Him. Nobody is gone without any sort of hardship or trial. A trial can be something as small as losing something um, or having just a hard day, being late to something, or a trial can be even bigger, of like the loss of a family member, um, losing a job, your family having to move and you not wanting to move. All kinds of things like that can be trials. It's how we handle those trials that shows our relationship with God doesn't mean if you don't handle them well, you don't have a relationship with God. It just means that God is there to be with us and hold our hands and walk through us in those hard um, trials that we go through. So we'll come to this next question that we talked about. Why are trials good for us? In the Bible, it says trials are a test of our faith. Um, it says it helps prepare us um, to live a life for Jesus and it helps us know and become closer to God. It's not always an easy task and it's not always something we're going to be great at, but we always have God there to help us and hold our hands. And the other question it says is, what do trials come from? What do trials come from? They come from many different things. Sometimes it can be a result of a sin that we committed. Sometimes it can just be a result of a mistake or an accident. Trials can come in many, many forms. And sometimes we may not realize even the reason why we experienced a trial, but it, we just need to remember to have faith and cling closer to God in the middle of those trials. So we've talked about what a trial is or what a difficulty is um, and what we do and sometimes who it's from. But let's talk a little bit about what we should do as a believer in Christ when we go through a trial. We need to remember to keep believing in God and having that faith. And what is faith? Faith is, faith is trusting in God and believing in it, even though you can't physically touch it or see it. Knowing that God's going to take care of our every want and need and remembering who God is and that he loves us and will always protect us and always keep our well-being first. It doesn't mean life is going to be perfect. It just means that God's going to be right there with us every step of the way. Let's um, look at our application verse for the next few weeks. It says here, it's found in James chapter 1 verse 22. It says, do not merely listen to the word, do what it says. So we not only need to hear what the word says, in the Bible, but we also need to be a doer of Christ and remember to do what God has told us to do. Be there for those people and encourage people that are going through hard times. Remind them that God is always there with them. Reminding yourself that God is always there with you and being a doer of Christ and not just a listener. Doing both of those things together. I hope everyone has a wonderful, wonderful week this week. Um, and let's end today with a quick prayer. Everybody get in your prayer position. Bow your head and close your eyes and let's pray. Dear Lord, I thank you for this day and I thank you for all of the blessings you give us each and every day. Lord, please um, just help us become doers of Christ, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Goodbye.